Hey guys, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. Well, it's kind of a gloomy, gloomy day. Actually, it's been a gloomy week. The sun hasn't really shined for the past week. Uh, so I figure it's time to get out, get some things fixed around here. Uh, today, we are going to work on the finish mower, the Woods RM600. Uh, last time mowing, uh, the spindle locked up. Uh, I should have known that there should have been grease fittings. I wasn't aware until the until it locked up. So basically, it sheared the woodruff key, locked that spindle up. I got a bent blade in the center. It's bent a couple inches. So when you're out there mowing, uh, it's pretty choppy. So we're going to address that. Hopefully. Get that all squared away. Sun will be out tomorrow, and we'll give it a little test run again. So, got a new belt also. Um, so, what I gotta do? I just gotta start the tractor. But unfortunately, the uh, the battery's dead. I don't know what keeps drawing the battery down. It's a brand new battery, and whatever else. But the more times it keeps wanting to break down and go dead the more I'm considering converting to a 12 volt system so we'll see what happens in the spring next year um, but the old cowboy just got another part ordered for her um, I had mentioned prior that it wouldn't go anywhere pulled the primary clutch cover off and found that somebody left the the nut that holds the two pieces together it is nowhere to be found so after some research I found the nut have it ordered so hopefully that's next week's project but for now let's get the tractor up charge started and brought to the barn so we can have some lighting some music and uh, yep that's it let's get going so as I'm prepping you know, because it's quite the operation uh, to get this tractor started with a dead battery. I have to bring the cord out here. It has the uh, smart charger, so it won't pick up or sense voltage until it gets to a certain point. So I have to bring my 12 volt jump pack out here and apply 12 volts to a six volt battery in two second bursts. Um, so as I'm out here prepping and getting it ready, um, I find a mouse. Oh, it looks like he jumped out of his little nest. So, oh yeah, all right. Well, he's out and about. That seems to be the problem around here is field mice and rats. So, we are slowly knocking them off. So, this will not be tolerated. So, anyway. Thanks for removing the crumbs from the mower deck. But anyway, stay tuned. All right, I'm just setting up the charger here. This is a positive ground. Whoa. Positive ground. Kind of hard to film and do connections all right so we're going to plug it in and i'm going to show you that it will not it won't recognize um the charger won't recognize the voltage till we boost charge it so that's why i like conventional chargers uh it shows battery voltage 0, 0.0 so that is not good at all for a battery um, and I don't know what's causing the draw and the only reason I knew that the battery was dead is I have a red light that I installed on the dash and then when you turn the key on uh, it lights up red so right now we're at 0.0, .0. and this is where we're gonna put the jump pack 12 volt jump pack to the 6 volt so all right what we're gonna do I can show you. Just 
put see here okay all right like I said six volt positive ground however you want to say it the positive goes to the ground but I'm gonna put the 12 volt jump pack on there for a second at a time so the voltage will spike the 12 volts and take it off I'll do that a couple times until the voltage gets high enough that the charger recognizes and then we'll let it do its thing And something just, something just popped. So, can't be good. Probably just burnt some regulator out. Yeah, something's not working. All right, so I hit the charger, hit the battery a few times with a 12 volt. Um, I probably blew something out. I had the key switch on uh, originally uh, and something popped underneath there, so. I probably toasted that voltage regulator under there. So yeah, it's just another step to move closer to converting it to a 12 volt system. So um, as you can see, the it's, <laughs> it says 12 volts um, that it's charging at, but that's because I was, I was hot boosting it. So hopefully it goes back to six volt. Uh, I might actually pull the cord back out so it can rethink itself. Um, showing 23% charge, which is not correct. So let me disconnect and try again. Let it self pick up. So here we go. Pull the cord, let it sit. Plugged it back in, let it self recognize. Reversed, what? What are they talking about reversed? Let's go to six amp. And there wasn't enough. Whatever F12 means. What the hell? All right, F12. I think it means you're F'd. All right, let's disconnect again. It says it's charging, but I don't believe it. Story of my life. You want something done around here? It takes a little. Well guys, after trying and trying and trying, I couldn't get the battery charger to, to sense um, six volts to continue charging the battery. It's so far dead. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it's a fairly new battery, but I'm kind of at wit's end with it. So what I did was I went back inside and uh, ordered, <coughs> ordered a 12 volt conversion. So I'm not going to deal with the six volt anymore. I've had my problems with it. Um, so basically we'll end up replacing the generator, putting an alternator on there and uh, got to get a new battery. So change all the lighting over to 12 volt. And uh, you know, it's a fairly inexpensive upgrade, but I think it's going to save a lot of headaches here in the future. So until next week, um, that's what we'll be doing. Hopefully we'll get that on. We'll get that up and going. We can get the mower blades uh, replaced. Get that spindle rebuilt. Right now, can't really do anything. Can't move it where, where it's at. And so we're going to go on to another project. So, rebuilding pig house. Take three. Alright, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. Until next week.